Hey, new boots have arrived. Loving them so far. New Magnums. Um, uh, they're called the Panthers. So essentially, I believe they're the newer version of the ones I had uh, last time. Click here to watch that video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. And um, today we will be continuing with our little series of making uh, thank you presents for the teachers who taught me my A levels. In the last episode, we did presents for my geography teachers. Click here to watch that episode as well. Um, and in this episode, we will be making a present for my history teacher. I must admit that it took me the longest amount of time to think up a present for my history teacher over my other teachers, but eventually I came up with the idea um, to make them a sign that you put at the front of your desk. So it'll go at the uh, front of their desk at school and tell everybody who walks into the classroom who they are. So I am going to make a little wooden stand out of oak um, that I will screw together and varnish, and then I have ordered um, a brass effect um, plaque to go on the front of it with their name. It isn't just their name, um, I've also put a little comical twist on it that hopefully they will understand and find funny, um, but I found it funny, um, so here's hoping. Um, so hopefully this project shouldn't take that long. I don't want to voodoo it, but all I should have to do is cut the two pieces of oak, drill them, screw them together, put the right angle on it, varnish it and stick the brass on. So the first job is going to be to use the table saw again, and I'll get on with that as soon as you've liked and subscribed, but thank you for joining me, let's get on. First thing I've done, um, you'll probably notice I've not used the oak yet. This is just some uh, pallet wood that I don't care about because um, obviously it's much uh, less expensive than the oak um, and easier to come by. Um, I've experimented first with doing a 45 to make a 90 degree. Um, I thought that might look a bit nicer than having a thick old bit at the bottom and then a slopey bit on top. Um, obviously the 45, the bit that went on top would have to go more than 45 to give it a slight lean back, which I want so that you can see it well when you're stood up and looking at the desk. Um, looking at it though, I think it's probably just gonna be easier to do this method. It's gonna be easier to screw together and I don't think it's gonna look bad. It might also make it stronger as well. I think I'm also going to struggle to cut more than a 45 degree on the table so like that you can see there um, it's made not that nice of a job of it though that might just be me yeah I think this one okay now we know that we'll crack on with the oak
We got that done just in time. It's now started raining a little bit, so I've put the table saw away so it doesn't get damaged. Um, which means that now, if I can absolutely avoid it, I don't want to have to remake these pieces. So I'm going to do my absolute best to um, take my time, take it slow, and do it right once. I've put a 10 degree angle on the bottom so that it's got that slight lean back, and I've had a look at the brass lent up on this um, to make sure that I like it, and I do. Um, so what we're going to do now is carefully drill some holes in the bottom piece to screw up through into the top part, maybe with some glue as well. Um, but before we get to actually fixing it together, we've of course got to sand this, get rid of the burn marks um, and varnish it. <laughs> Okie dokie, uh, wood has been sanded, coffee has been made, dog has been fed, um, and I will start to varnish the wood after we've had a little tidy up. Okay, I am very pleased with how the wood has come up. Um, nice smooth on the sandpaper, and it's amazing how much easier using the Dremel made it, power tools and that, making our lives so much easier than what they would have been without them. My yacht varnish is still liquid, which is nice, even though I haven't used it in a while. Um, so we're gonna get a um, good coat on there. Obviously it'll take me a couple of days probably to coat one side, flip them over, coat that, and then do the same again, because it's gotta dry each time and I can't really hang them, so certainly not this one. Um, but most importantly, I need to get uh, varnish in here so that I can then put the screws in um, and then they will be there will be varnish underneath the screw heads um, and the whole thing will be covered in it. Um, I did consider just putting a little dot in each of these and then putting the screws in and assembling it and then varnishing it. But for the sake of doing a proper job and getting varnish underneath where the two bits of wood will also be joined, we're going to do it separate. And it is amazing how a coat of varnish brings out the grain in a bit of wood. And that really is all there is to it. I think I'll put a picture of the finished sign up on the screen now. Um, obviously with the name blurred, I don't wanna um, invade on my teachers or my school's privacy. Um, but that is the finished sign. It'll take a couple of days for that to be done and then obviously for me to edit this and put it up. But. Um, that's going to be the process for the next few days is just continually varnishing all the sides of this. So I, um, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Um, uh, I hope that if you did that you would consider giving it a like and subscribing. Um, I'll see you next time for the third and final present. Goodbye.